Hello, and this video is about how to change the controls for PUBG Mobile in BlueStacks. Well, first of all, you have to download the latest version of BlueStacks and then install the updated version of the PUBG Mobile game. You can download it here from Google Play Store, and yeah, BlueStacks has the Google Play Store. You can just go, go ahead and download it from there. Then get inside the game, and I will show you how to change the controls in there. Well, right now you can already see that there are some um, visible buttons here. Um, there are keys, key bindings and all, well, you can say that. So as you can see, there is an I thing here, I icon. So click that, and this is the visibility bar. So as you take it higher, it, they will be more visible, and if you bring it lower, they will be less visible. So let's go ahead and keep it there. Once we get into the game, I will tell you how to change the controls. Well, after taking its sweet time, we are inside a game and it's, uh, well, checking for updates and all. So in here, you will find the um, login page if you're, lo well, playing it for the first time or let's say you just face the login page. So go ahead and log in using any um, Google Play account or your Facebook account or any other methods you see. And after you log in, get in the main lobby menu. Okay, we got inside the game, so close uh, any of these pop-ups. After that, go over here and click on the settings icon. There you go. Well, let me tell you the option where you can turn the entire game full screen. So there it is, as you can see here. So that's the icon to make the whole game entirely full screen. And to exit out of this full screen state, you have to click on F11 on your keyboard and if you don't know it's in the top portion of your keyboard just look up there and there will be an F11 click on it and there you go it's back on your it's um, not full screen window and to restore the window just click on there and it's restored just like that and go over here now in the controls and we have three um, profiles here well Choosing the floating button gives issues and I have experienced issues with it like the fire button is automatically pressed and all. So I said don't go with that. Go with the fixed button. Well, the left movement and right fire fixed button is nice. It's good. So go ahead and choose that and here, right now here, you can see there is a keyboard like icon there. Click on it. So this is the place where you can choose the profiles for your control. Here you can see there is a box. So click on that. So they have recently added a new um, control scheme, control profile, smart. So it's quite really smart actually. So I will rec really recommend using this profile. So just click on it. And then as you can see, there are lots of buttons, but don't worry, they are all like, um, it's not a hassle with them. I you can just uh, deal with them inside the game. Let me give you an example. Just uh, Let's say if you press F, then it will also get inside a car. And again, when you press F, when you are inside the car it will get you out of the car so it's kinda like smart so you don't have to worry about all of these buttons so just go ahead and save and yeah I think that should do, do it just click on close and you're good well why I'm in this menu is that when you again click on here and choose the profile option of let's say 720p custom so this is more like to have a custom experience um, to have custom key binds. Let's say you don't want to play with WASD, you can go ahead and use arrow keys and all. Well, it's really a hassle, so I will not go through it and I will not recommend doing it. But yes, you can go ahead and do it. Let's say I will add, uh, um, yeah, let's say I will add this uh, ping, universal ping thing with a caps lock. See? And drag it over here, click on save. So that's it. That's for the custom thing. So one of the problems with uh, this custom I faced is that, uh, okay wait, there should be an F1 in here, okay there we go. So th that's the F1, so there will be an F1 in here and the problem with that is that it does not have a shooting um, thing. Like when you play in the game and you press your left, left mouse button which should fire your weapon, it does not fire and ne neither is your right mouse button working inside the game. So what you gotta do at this point is just, um, well, if your right click is there, just put it above your scope here and the caps lock okay well there's two caps lock don't don't use that put the F4 in here okay that's done after that just right click above F1 
and go below and as you can see the fire with mouse lab it's well it should be ticked but it's unticked so go ahead and tick it and right below it you can see there is a mouse icon left click on it drag it place it above the fire button so that should pretty much solve the issue and now I think your mouse should fire your weapon inside the game so just go ahead and click on save and you're done but yeah I will recommend using just the smart smart uh, controls profile because it is really smart and you don't have to deal with all of this um, button configuration and all and yeah it, it should just pretty much work and your mouse controls should also work unless until you have um, messed it up so just hopefully you don't mess it up and if you do mess it up somehow and don't know how to fix that just just click on reset as you can see there is a reset button in here in here so just click on that reset button and it will reset your entire um, profile control after that just click on save and close and then exit and yeah that should do it and just go ahead and play uh, just some uh, well team that match or <laughs> casual your angle so I'll go ahead and have fun I hope the video helped and also yeah until next time then